Hi, I'm Steve Selenik, and I've been asked to briefly talk about the history, uh, purpose, and essence of the For Seal movement. But before I get to that, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all personally for being able to share this gift of For Seal with you. We do really appreciate your time. I live my For Seal for seal number 48 in May of 1981. The spiritual advisor on that weekend was Father Joe Fay of Christ the King Parish. Father Fay wanted me to seek a spiritual director after the weekend, which he recommended Father Dan Pyle of Holy Family Parish. After meeting with Father Dan Pyle and much prayer, my wife and I joined Holy Family. Donna, my wife, also lived at Seal in 1981, and we collectively wanted Holy Family to be our parish. Our oldest son had been attending St. John's School, our former parish now, and all good things come with a price, because we were now non-parishioners and sending our son there and for four more years. At that time, in our early 30s, we knew that it was absolutely necessary for Holy Family because it really supplied, supplied our spiritual needs much better. Our youngest son is a very special child, born only with a brain stem. He would require care for life. We're in great need of direction with this great privilege given from above. That same year, Donna and I became Eucharistic ministers, that summer on her birthday. Just a coincidence. Now, 31 years later, we continue to be blessed as Eucharistic ministers and parishioners at Holy Family. Our special child is now 33 years old, and my Crisil journey has now led me to serve, or has led me to serve on many weekends. To serve as on the Fort Wayne South Bend Secretariat as both pre and post for sale chairs as well as lay director. This journey has now led me to a new election as Region 5 English Coordinator. What exactly is that? The for sale movement is worldwide and is represented in all 293 dioceses in the United States and Region 5 consists of 14 of those dioceses with three language groups, English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Region 5 takes in all of or part of five states. There are many other regions in the United States, some which with as many as seven language groups. Being a region coordinator is a wonderful opportunity to serve the Lord by serving his people. Now for the history of Priscilla. It helps to understand what the definition is of Priscilla or what does Priscilla really mean. In Spanish, it's Priscilla de Christendad, little course in Christianity. Priscilla's birth was over a period of nine years rather than nine months. The formation of Priscilla began in 1940 and was fully formed by January 1949. In history, it is important to understand the mentality, cultural, and other conditions which existed during its development. Spain was the country of origin. The Spanish people had a very militant attitude, which may have existed from the Spanish Civil War during the 1930s and continued and intensified in World War II through the ending of 1945. The Catholic Church in Spain had a very close relationship with the Spanish government. The Church had a very positive relationship in establishing stability for hundreds of years. The people had a passion for pilgrimages and had many designated sites dating back to the turn of the century with Pope Leo XIII with Catholic action. Their efforts involved young people, which many of their leaders became involved with the Priscilla movement. 
Pope Pius XII acknowledged that there were many people who drifted away from living a Christian life. He challenged the church leaders to make every effort possible to help people return to their Christian values. The reading of his address, coupled with Eduardo Bonin's initiative and inspired by the Holy Spirit, led to a thorough study of the situation and atmosphere, atmosphere in a serious and systematic approach with a plan to transform that environment to Christ. The process of formation by a small group of grace-filled Christians, Christian friends, led to the Vatican officially recognizing the first Crucio starting January 7th through 10th, 1949, on the island of Mallorca. The first Crucio was neither a lucky accident nor a blueprint which came directly from heaven, but in consolation with the Holy Spirit grew out of the process of development. The Crucio movement came to birth in the movements of renewal that preceded the Second Vatican Council. Vatican II was such a major event in, in the history of the modern church, but Vatican II itself was born out of the passion for spiritual renewal, which had also began many years leading up to its own birth. From the very beginning, Crucio experienced opposition. That very year of 1949, during the 11th Diocesan Assembly, Bishop Juan Hervas publicly affirmed Crucio, saying, I bless them, and I bless them, and with not one, but with two hands. And he continued to. Despite any setback, the Crucio spread in five years to 60 countries, and over a million Catholics having lived there. The Crucio found its way to the United States in 1957 by two airmen from Spain, Bernardo Vandell and Augustin Palomino, who were training with the United States Air Force with Father Gabriel Fernandez, who had arrived in Waco, Texas in 1955 from Spain. Father experienced his Crucio's in Spain under Father Juan Capo and Eduardo Bodin, who is known as a co-founder of Crucio. Until 1961, all weekends were held in Texas and Arizona in Spanish. Then in 1961, Texas, Arizona, California, Indiana, <coughs> Michigan, and New Mexico were held in English. In 1962, 25 more English-speaking weekends were held spreading further east to Ohio, New York, Florida, Illinois, Michigan, and Maryland. In 1963, a team of men from Lansing, Michigan held the first Crucio at Sacred Heart Parish Center on the campus of Notre Dame in our diocese. In fact, three men are not only still alive 49 years later, but are living the method and grouping. Jim Sullivan, Hal Berger, and Dr. Frank, Frank Tepp. This movement spread rapidly because the early centers took the Crucial to nearby dioceses. By 1981, almost all of the 160 diocese in the United States at that time had introduced the Crucio movement. The Crucio movement in the United States was organized in Kansas and a national office established. In 1981, the Crucio movement established an international worldwide office which operates under the OMCC to coordinate the four international groups of Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, North America, and the Caribbean, which is now stationed in Australia. The Crucio movement has the support of the vast majority of the American hierarchy. Crucio was joined to the National Conference of Catholic Bishops. Crucio is a member of the International Catholic Organizations of Pontifical Council for the Laity in Rome. There are countless books on the history of Crucio and its charism. We cannot even but give you a glimpse at best of its history. 
Crucille's original leaders, Eduardo Bodine, Bishop Hurtis, its strong endorsers, Pope Pius XII in his address, and Pope Paul VI address in his personal statement, Crucille and Christianity, Christ the Church and the Pope are counting on you. To Pope John Paul's II, many addresses at the world's altreas and the Holy See's recognition of Crucille as an official charism of the Catholic Church as recent as June 11, 2004, are evident of its orthodoxy and that Crucille has withstood the test of time. The formula of total reliance on the Holy Spirit, friendship, commitment, and a sound method built around piety, study, and action, and community reinforcement have made possible from the first Crucille to the present. Those who have experienced this gift live with Easter joy and have found that they, like many logs, burn brighter together. Those who have lived a Crucille are known as Cursiistas. Cursiistas resonate with joy. History has recorded every one of them, men and women around the world, all seven million of them. As far as the purpose and essence of Crucio, its evangelization is its purpose for Crucio. We as lady in the church can no longer take our role lightly. The future of society is in our hands. We must realize that we as individuals can have a great impact on our society. More import importantly, we have an even greater impact when we find other individuals that are ready and able to accept the challenge. Cursiistas are to make Christian community possible in those places where people live the greater part of their lives. The immediate is to provide an understanding and conviction concerning what is, being, what is fundamental to being a Christian. It is living in union with God and Christ and working to bring others to that same union with Christ. The essence of Crucio, like the church, and in line with the teachings of the church, seeks to extend the kingdom of God on earth in the form of modern <coughs> evangelization. Make a friend, be a friend, bring that friend to Christ. Eduardo Bonin, one of the founders stated by Converting ourselves and others, we will transform the environments around us. It is clearly through friendship that we change and we change the environments to Christ. With that, I will give you this poem. It's titled, Friends. I am not who I was. I am not going to be who I was going to be. You changed all that. You are not who you were, you're not going to be who you were going to be. I changed all that. What it is and cannot be, what was, was, and cannot have been. So you see, my friends, we are us. Who are we going to be? We are going to be who we never could have been without each other. 